Hello all. Uh, this video is going to be on uh, a release I just uploaded to SourceForge. It's called OB Session or Obsession. And uh, the name came about basically from uh, obsessed of getting this uh, type of uh, Arch Linux spin uh, up and working. And uh, for me, it was uh, grueling to, to say the least. But I finally got something up. Uh, so you can try out at least in VirtualBox. I did try this on my machine. It seemed to be okay, but as usual, everybody's machine is different. So I have uh, VirtualBox here fired up, and I'll just hit the start. And uh, I haven't uh, patched the uh, spa screen yet, so I'll fix that later, hopefully. So uh, it's 64-bit only. So when you get to this screen, you just press Enter. Now if you're uh, Trying this on an NVIDIA 9, 900 series, you would have to type on a live, uh, on your system, no mode set, but we won't have to do that. Oops. So I'll just let this uh, boot up, and we should be presented with the Light DM login screen. Okay, uh, the password is guest, guest, G U E S T. And press enter login. The screen should change. And we have the menu pop up. And basically, this is what it is. It's, uh, I have uh, PAMAC uh, from Angero Linux installed. So you get notifications of updates and various things. So this is just a live disk. So you can right click on a desktop or press the key combination control M to bring up a menu. And you have change wallpaper, control panel, and so on. So you can go to control panel, and we can open disk partition, which is a uh, G parted. And again, the password is guest, and it should open up and uh, G parted. And in this case, I only have one disk, but we have to um, make create a new partition table. Uh, make sure it says MS DOS, okay, and click apply. And it's ready to go. And then we click new and extension for. You can add a label if you wish. Just click add when you're done. And then apply and apply one more time. And close. And you can close down G parted. And uh, to bring up a terminal, you can right click in terminal or control alt T. Either one will work. And just type in SU. And the root password for root is root. So if you, have, if you do install this, make sure you change that as soon as possible and also the uh, guest uh, password to change your user password okay so we're in the root and we just do amount slash dev sda1 to slash mnt press enter you can list that out and you should be just lost and found in there and the arch linux mid finger edition installer which is just basically our sync so ame and press enter and uh, just give that a couple of minutes or so to uh, run okay so once it's uh, finished syncing things up uh, you're presented at the root and you're already ch rooted in to the mounted uh, partition and uh, all you have to do is type uh, mk init press tab on that mk init cpio uh, dash p and then Linux and press enter and let that uh, run and when that's finished you just type in uh, grub dash install slash dev sda and press enter and finally just type in up dash grub and press enter uh, don't worry about the failed LVM it's uh, that's been doing that for a long time now and that's it. You just type Q to quit, and that unmounts the partition. And all we have to do is type in reboot and boot into the installed system. And again, password is guest, and you log in. And there we go. It's installed. So you can go to your file manager, which is Thunar, and unmount the disk. And you have a desktop uh, interface based on Chrome, Chrome OS, or Chromium OS, or uh, Chromixium, uh, that's what it's inspired by. And basically you have a uh, Chromium as your browser and you can see here the 
you probably know these labels Gmail, YouTube, Google Drive, and the uh, App Launcher. You can add your own here, and so on. So that's uh, pretty much uh, it so far. Um, sometimes this won't uh, kick in until after another reboot or a logout and log in, uh, but it does work. Or you can go to Control Panel and go to uh, Automated Updates. I renamed that because it's not really automatic. It's automated. And I'll refresh the mirror list, and you see there's updates. So when you click Apply, it's going to ask you for the password. And you haven't, if you haven't changed it, it's, remember it's guests. And that should install whatever packages are needed, both from the uh, Arch Linux uh, repos and the Arch Linux user repository. And add remove software, you can uh, browse for things you might want to install. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, OB session or obsession, Arch Linux version, and how to install. So thank you very much for watching, and, and if you try this, I very much appreciate it, and please let me know how you do with it, and uh, we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.